This world doesn't need a hero. It needs a professional. of the Emperor of Nilfgaard for the murder of the wounded, looting, cannibalism. You are hereby sentenced to death by hanging. Or torment. Don't meddle. Take the reward and let's go. Scorn Imperial Gold. Tough hunt. Tougher than yours, that's certain. Evil is evil. Lesser, greater, middling makes no difference. Come fit me. Bring her down. Do it my way. You like that, you bitch? Get the hammer. The degree is arbitrary. The definitions blurred. If I'm to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Just make it quick, Garrett. What the? Close your eyes. Hit him! since I heard it last. Folk have forgotten it. Got other things on their mind. Things like me. They paid me for you. <laughs> In times past, no amount of coin would convince a witcher to take this contract. Times have changed.
Descended. I felt its icy breath. Frost gripped the air itself. Ice clenched each heart. The village froze like in the heart of winter. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. Witcher. I was hoping you'd come. You saw what happened. Only you and I truly know what all of us will soon face. The Wild Hunt will know I've found her when I do. They'll attack. Well, I'm not about to give in. We all knew what we were signing up for. Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her.
Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? We met in White Orchard. I helped you find Yennefer. It seems you need my help again. Do you want my help? It's a deal. Let me tell you a story. It's about a man, worse than most. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Well struck, Witcher. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. Indeed. But it's not what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse. You must be careful what you wish for. For there are consequences. You need to get into the vault. We break in. Each day what we need. You one I can count on. Why do you wish to see the Lady of the House? See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. When I was a lad, my old nan would tell me stories of magical places. Tales of far-off lands with golden-haired maidens and oath-sworn knights. Lands rich with drink and lavish feasts. I never believed those stories. Until I found Toussaint. This is a land left untouched by the tides of war, easily rivaling Velen or Ard Skellig in size. In Toussaint, simple folk live simple lives. They work the fields, peddle their goods, and tend to the vineyards, making the finest wines this side of the Ponta. It's a land ripe with opportunity, full of wild beasts to slay, maidens to defend, and long-lost treasures just begging to be found. Here a man never pangs with hunger, never wants for company, and never goes anywhere without a drink in his hand. But with all this debauchery and drink, you might wonder what brought the white wolf to this land of sheep. Well, I think it's time I told you a story. A beast stalks us, hunts us in the night. Only the Witcher can shake us from this nightmare. We have been here before. We watch your petty world slumbering. You cannot defy the call of the last deal. You can only surrender. I saw a long ship made of the claws of dead men. The rates drove everyone to the shore. My daughter too. No man who meets the hunt returns to this world. I returned.
Once we were many. Now we are few. Hunters. Killers of the world's filth. Witchers. The ultimate killing machines. Among us, a legend. The one they call Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. We meet again, Witcher. Your Imperial Majesty. She's returned, Geralt. After all these years. Are you sure it's her? Yes. And she's in danger. Witnesses claim the Wild Hunt follows her. You must find her. And when I do, what then? I shall give her what she deserves. White Wolf, at last. I come for her of the prophecy. Every decision you make will bring devastation. Each choice will lead to a greater evil. Six months into the invasion, Nilfgaard's legions had pierced the heart of the northern realms. Behind them, blood-soaked fields, war-swept wastes. A lone wolf roamed these broken lands, a beast slayer, a whirlwind of rage and steel. They say he was a man obsessed, chasing memories, faces, scents. Yet amidst the chaos, he could only follow his heart. Some fight for glory, justice, or gold. I fight for those I hold dear. I'm Geralt of Rivia, the Witcher. Project Red, it has always been our goal to take you on adventures both legendary and grounded in reality. To tell you stories where breathtaking magic, fantastic creatures, and age-old prophecies are interwoven with religious fanaticism, war crimes, even racism. See her ears, she elf. It's this very vision that we've realized in our most ambitious project to date. The open world of the Witcher Wild Hunt. Welcome, traveler. Drink with me, you cocksucker. The northern realms span a vast continent filled with remote outposts, quaint villages, and bustling cities of astonishing wealth. Varied landscapes will see you riding into mountain valleys, sailing the open seas, and exploring forgotten temples. However, this land is brimming with conflict. Racial hatred often erupts into violence, and war between the mighty has driven people from their homes. But one plague runs rampant. Monsters. They haunt the countryside, 
breed in city sewers, and rule the wilderness, feasting on merchant caravans. That's where you come in. Ah, the Witcher. Should have expected as much. You'll play as a Witcher, a monster slayer for hire, mutated to have superhuman abilities. People might think you're a freak, but everyone can use the help of a professional. Blood of Chloe. Vampire. Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off. We put a lot of effort into seamlessly blending gameplay with the surrounding environment. Monster behavior and tactics change depending on the time of day or terrain. It's these shifting circumstances that will often determine if you are hunter or prey. Clear an area of monsters and you'll witness people settling in. Transforming dangerous areas into sprawling hubs where you can buy and sell gear. Hundreds of armor and weapon upgrades await you. But it's the way you fight that makes all the difference. Invest in sword skills to develop special moves. Level up your alchemy skills and gather rare herbs to create potions and bombs. Or master the arcana of magic signs and annihilate your foes with a twist of your fingers. She's returned, Geralt. After all these years... In the Witcher Wild Hunt, you take on the greatest contract of your life to track down the Child of Prophecy, a living weapon that can alter the shape of the world. And if you find her, the girl will die. <laughs> you might be a killer for hire, Witches. but you decide what kind of man you are. I'm gonna say who you are? Or do I need to look at your tongue with my knife? Indulge your human side. How about I buy everybody around? Bottoms up! Or choose the path of a ruthless outcast, adhering to your own brand of justice. Go away, or I'll kill you. And watch the world burn. <laughs> Whoever you are, in the Northern Realms you'll find what you're looking for. Whether it's horse racing, getting drunk, following your heart, or just satisfying your passion. Playing cards, brawling, <coughs> discovering places of power, hunting treasure, or joining in ancient rituals. Forge your own adventure in the most realistic fantasy of our times. Welcome to the Witcher Wild Hunt. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Shlada 
Potem podążę w zamieć I Twoje serce wytropię uparte Przez gniew i smutek Stwardniałe w kamień Rozpalę usta zmagane wiatrem Gdy my są Tu t'enfuis à l'aube Ton parfum de groseille et de lilas Je veux sentir tes longues boucles noires Et me perdre dans tes yeux mauvais Brillants de larmes Non, c'est surtout oiseau Terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door. The unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The dark raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. 
fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain.